Hello and welcome to another Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at the latest addition to Hikvision's Panaview range of cameras. This is the DS2CD 6D 54G1-IZ, also an S model, which incorporates alarm inputs and outputs and also audio in inputs and outputs as well on the unit. This particular unit has four 5 megapixel cameras incorporated into it. Each one can be moved around on a pan swivel base, which allows you to set each independent position of the camera. Cameras also have a tilt angle of approximately 10 degrees down to 90 degrees. The unit has 30 meter infrared, uses three EXIR infrared LEDs, which are fitted behind this anti-reflective covering here. And each camera module has a 2.8 to 8mm very focal lens, which is also equipped with a semi-auto back focus mechanism as well. Got a reset and SD card, 128 gig capable SD micro SD card here underneath the, the rubber plastic top there, which goes back on as such. So each one of these units at wide angle will give a field of view of approximately 100 degrees. So if you have each of the cameras set in an equal cross shape as such, you will get full 360 degree coverage from the unit. There will be obviously because of the nature in which the actual field of view spreads out be a blind spot underneath but in terms of a full sort of 360 degree coverage panoramic field of view it will achieve that the units obviously when zoomed in will give into telephoto will give about 49 degrees obviously the beauty of this camera is that each lens or each camera can be set independently so you can have one covering the large wide angle area at 100 degrees, you could have another uh, zoomed in at 49 degrees and the other two could be set up in between wide angle and telephoto as well. So if you had a location where you needed to fit two or three cameras looking in opposite directions at different areas, instead of having to fit three, four different cameras, you could just whack one of these up, uh, one cable, PoE, plus into the back and then this will do the job of four separate cameras looking in different directions. So on the base of the unit there, we've got the RG45 plug, which is your PoE and your data. We've also got a DC-AC power plug. This is a dual voltage unit, so it will take 12 volt DC or 24 volt AC, whichever you prefer. You've got your audio in and output there, and you've got your alarms, a relay outputs, and also your alarm inputs on this cable here as well. So this unit is a, an IP67 rated camera, so perfectly suited to outdoor conditions. It's an IK10 vandal rated enclosure on it as well. This is a polycarbonate molded lid there, so it can take a bit of a, a whack. It has built in smart events, such as line crossing, intrusion detection, region entrance, region exit as well, which can be incorporated across two of the four cameras at any one time. Like I said earlier, is you do have the option of PoE or separate power supply powering the actual unit as well. The unit comes with a ceiling mount bracket, which I can quickly show you how to use, but there is actually a wall and a pendant mount bracket available for this particular unit as well. So if you look at the on the back of the unit, we've got a, a screw here. So if I quickly grab the, the ceiling mount plate, you can see there we've got at the back, we've got a little hook hanging down. So the, the idea is to just fix your screw onto that hook there. You can, it can be tightened at this point, obviously for the purpose of this test, I'll leave it as it is. It then shuts over. If I just quickly move the plug out the way of that, will drop down and then slot across as such. That'll then hang freely as, as it is now, but you've then got the four screws here to actually tighten that down and lock it into place so it's basically not going anywhere from that point. And then the lid can be screwed on separately. So that's the overview of the actual unit. What we'll do now is we'll get this thing fitted. And we'll fit it into our new and improved trade counter and we'll give you a quick demonstration of the four separate units in action. Okay, as you can see, I've now got the, the Panaview camera fitted to the ceiling of our uh, trade counter, our new trade counter there. And you can see we've got the four images streaming. They're all currently streaming on their mainstream, but that can be altered here on each camera module. You can choose between the mainstream, the substream and the third stream. And they're all at wide angle, approximately 2.8 mil. As you can see, you've got a, a full 360 degree field of view there. If we start at the, the door in the top right hand corner here and move across these panels, you can see the panels then start here and go across to the second door within the trade counter. 
image at the bottom, camera four then starts and moves across to the front window, and then camera one starts at the window and moves across to the door again. So there's a full 360 degree coverage there by utilising the wide angle fields of view. Obviously there will be a blind spot underneath the camera which will vary in size depending on how high the camera is mounted. The lower it's mounted, the, the lesser the blind spot will be, the higher it's mounted, the larger the, the blind spot area will be underneath the camera. So that's just one example of how the camera can be used. Obviously the, each camera is independent so you can set it up independently to the others in terms of its field of view by simply highlighting the, the camera window and using your zoom controls. It's possible to zoom in and out. So each camera module can be independent and that's useful if you have a location where you may need three or four different cameras looking in different directions and at different fields of view instead of having to fit four individual cameras and cable four individual cameras you can fit one of these pan view units, one cable data and PoE for all four cameras is catered for and your four streams can then be sent back to a back-end device such as an MVR or a VMS so these can each be set up independently Just zoom that back out there a similar field of view so if we click on the configuration uh, tab on the top we can quickly have a look at some of the settings in the menu first of all if we click on system we've got an option there for VCA resource as I mentioned earlier, this particular unit will handle smart events, but only across any two cameras at once, so you need to choose whether you want your smart events to operate across camera modules 1 and 3 or 2 and 4. That can be altered down to the VCA resource tab. We've got it set to 2 and 4, so we'll leave that as it is for the time being. There's also an infrared light option as well. As I mentioned earlier, there's three infrared lights on this unit. This particular screen allows you to enable, disable each one of those three lights. Out the box, the unit IR LEDs operate as a group, so if one camera switches to mono, all of the LEDs will come on. They'll only switch off when the last camera switches back to day mode, so each module will operate in its day and night controls independently, but if one switches, all of the LEDs will come on. If you click on the advanced tab at the bottom, there's an option called one to one control. If we enable that, this allows you to sync or align each one of the LEDs to a specific camera module, which you can do here. Can select which camera you want IR1 to be linked with and the same with IR2 and IR3 and that allows the IRs to work in conjunction with a specific camera rather than as a group so if one camera switches to mono only the IR that's linked to that camera will switch on whereas the other two will stay in colour if the two cameras they're linked to are still in colour so again a little bit more flexibility now you can have the IR operating as well down at the video and audio tab there you can see pretty much the same as any web front end high vision camera in terms of being able to set the stream characteristics of your camera the difference being if you click on this tab you've got the option for all four cameras there so again you can set each the stream parameters of each camera module independently in terms of frame rate resolution and also your bit rate and your codec we've got them set at 1080p at the moment but as mentioned earlier these are five megapixel cameras so you can knock that all the way up to five megapixel there and save that as so and if we clicked on camera 3 we can see that that one's still set to 1080p um, just demonstrating that each camera modules characteristics are independent uh, if we go down to event and click on smart event we can see some of the smart event options across the top there's several to choose from but if we click on the channel number we can see we've only got camera options for channels 2 and 4 as just demonstrating that you can only set these options across the two cameras that were selected earlier under the system tab at the top the VCA resource here. So that's some of the settings within the actual Panaview camera. It does, in a sense, just act as four individual cameras within one chassis, to be honest. But you've got the, the two individual uses, which is the full 360 degree coverage or independent fields of view for each camera module. At wide angle, you would tend to achieve recognition at approximately six meters. It'll recognize at 12 meters, observe a moving object at 23 meters, and detect at about 60 meters telephoto your identification increases to 12 meters at recognition to 24 meters observe to 47 and detect at 120 meters at the two so that's the, the capabilities of the two different fields of view if you've got any further questions on this new flexible pan of view unit then don't hesitate to contact your account manager any technical queries you might have on it any further technical queries then by all means contact Dynamic CCTV's technical department where we're more than happy to assist you further. Thanks for watching this technical video and we'll see you next time.